Hey everyone. Hello perfume, fume heads, fragrance community friends. I hope this finds you well. I just wanted to come on here quickly off the cuff and uh, just, it's really not an update, but uh, it's just to tell you where I'm at right now. Kinda, well, in my journey and, you know, a little bit, a sliver of uh, in my life, I'm at a pretty happy point in my collection, under 150 separate bottles. Salute. And um, not buying anything at all right now. And that's for a couple different reasons, mainly because of uh, a change in disposable income, right? So you have to, you have to be uh, responsible. And like I said, I'm happy with what I have and I want to wear them. And y'all know me. Um, I like to talk about the stuff that I have and, and review after a couple of years. Um, and uh, so tightening, tightening down, battening down the hatches. What I am saving my dry powder for are any new releases uh, from my favorite houses. You, you might know, and if, if you don't, I'm, I'm waiting anxiously for something new out of Chanel. Just from rumors that something is gonna come out new for men. And then I'm waiting anxiously and patiently something out of uh, Dior. Because uh, they, got a, they got a new New, new perfumier at the helm there in uh, Francis Kirchner. So that's got to come out this year, right? I don't know how long it takes. Um, so I, I figure I'd be getting that, or both of those, right? Designers, new releases, they're not available online and they don't discount. So I would get that, whatever comes first out of, uh, you know, uh, department store Bloomingdale's for me because uh, get credit card points out of there and I, I have some money to use so that's what I'm waiting on also um, you know if I get lucky some uh, some stuff from uh, say Guerlain to uh, continue um, collecting from that spe specific uh, line of niche fragrances hopefully not a backup I think I'm over that now but um, so I would say, and it all has to come together very luckily, just three, but one or two I can see coming in the next couple of months. And uh, as far as older ones, unless something comes up that uh, I've been looking for for a long time and it just so happens, grab it. But in, as far as stuff that's out there, and ready just say like from the Dior Privé and uh, I don't have that new Maison counter here anymore I used to have two at least two of them like three years ago and then obviously uh, things changed and uh, places disappeared but I'm not really interested I'll leave that later but I smelt most of that line not the latest latest out of the uh, Dior's but uh, you know it takes me time and I'm happy that I got got all that I wanted from the old original uh, La Collection Privé, for instance. So that's where it is. I wouldn't be surprised if uh, a lot of other people out there maybe are trying to trim down their collection uh, because you know uh, one biggest reason is you move on and you want to sell off. Uh, give your bottles that you don't care about or don't love a better home, like the early designers, in fact. And I, I've done that along the way. But there are some early designers from the first year out of my journey, I'll, I don't think I'll ever let go, because they remind me, the smell reminds me, the, the smell, the shape of the bottle, the look, the, the juice of when I first started. Um, you know, for instance, Dior Home Intense is one of those that's maybe my first love out of Dior 
and even though I have too much of that uh, I would never get tired of that or let it go even if I got tired of it I wouldn't let it go because it has so much um, history behind it with me with my uh, scent memories so yeah even if I had bags full of cash I don't think I'd be out there buying stuff uh, so we all come to this point or pass it or a lot of you out there maybe it's it's not yet but uh, uh, just think of how many bottles you have and uh, how little you use them and for me I I don't want to keep them unsprayed. I want to use them in, in this lifetime. It's different if you have, uh, say if you have family members or uh, children, you pass them on to them. That'd be nice. Um, and it, it's a great legacy. So I, I urge people to do that, take care of their bottles and pass them on to their daughters or, or sons, whether they notice them or not, because they will, when, uh, you know, when it's only them and the bottles, they'll appreciate them. Um, so those of you who uh, have a legacy like that, you're very lucky. So, as for me, I just like spraying as much as I can, as many times a day. And uh, I just get frustrated if, uh, if life uh, deals you a deck of cards and says you can't, uh, <laughs> you gotta do this or do that or stay home or all that, it's kind of frustrating. That's where I get kind of kind of emotional and uh, serious. So holding steady here, uh, maybe we'll sell some to people that want some, but uh, not getting any and just holding out uh, for maybe some releases that are that are clearly due, clearly due um, imminently, like in months. So that's what I'm waiting for. Um, how about you? Let me know, my friends out there. Uh, what's your uh, what's your situation? What's your 411 with uh, your journey? And uh, right now, my bottle count is steady. It's even gone down a little bit from selling over the past year. But then, and then I did that whole month without buying anything. These past couple of months did the same. I don't think uh, I, I did some vintage buying, but. Uh, yeah, just waiting for one or two releases, hopefully, that'll come out. One's got to come out, right? One has to come out from Dior because the guy has to uh, make a move. He's got to make a move. Come out with something out of the Privé line. It's kind of interesting, too, right? It's kind of exciting. Out of the Privé line or on the designer side, past Sauvage. So what's what's uh, Kirchner going to do? So it's kind of exciting. And, uh, oh, it's not only that. He got... Uh, friends that are perfumers now that are going to come out with stuff friends in the community and i can't miss that too i'm gonna have to get that this year i don't know if it's going to be one or three so it's, I, I i tend to like to plan out things and uh that's on my radar too i've never been too greedy or been over the top saying i got to get everything out there or else people won't like me as much or think that uh you know i'm popular or what i really yeah, it's not the way to go um do a little research follow the hype let the pipe uh, brush off most of the time but some some of the hype sometimes sticks it sticks sometimes it's new hype and you jump on sometimes it's hype after years and it's like okay now it's time and it was a right decision so uh yeah 2022 is gonna be an interesting year in the mid to the end um, with some new additions and uh, worldly happenings so at least we have this stuff right guys and gals at least we have this some of these bottles here are strictly for gals only but i love it most of all these guys are for us um, these bottles are that you know that i have here in frame are for uh us uh big tough uh fraghead guy guys but uh, just love the juice. Just love the juice. Ever look at one of these bottles? I won't name the name. 
the house and the release, but it it looks like it looks like you need a tablespoon or a teaspoon with it, and it's when you're gulping down uh, cough drop, cough dro cough syrup when you're a little kid and you got a cold, and you <laughs> you were given teaspoons of cough syrup from Vicks. One of these bottles just looks exactly like that. It looks like it would taste like that too. It wouldn't taste that bad, like a, a dark cherry or something like that, but definitely from that company, Vicks. And you'd open the top and uh, you hold your nose or whatever and you'd swallow two or three teaspoons of that uh, cough syrup. One of them looks just like that, the one right in the middle. Jesus Christ, it's dark enough. But uh, let me know what's going on with you guys. I'm just checking in. And, you know, I'm not gonna do any reviews or first impressions or something when I'm not getting anything. So I'm, I'm sorry about that. Um, but you know me, mainly I just like to have fun and, and uh, I'm content with, with knowing a couple of handfuls of people in this nice community and being in my little nook and uh, kind of hearing from you and where you are in the world. It's, it's exciting enough for me. So um, that's what I wanted to do. Uh, when you guys uh, shoot bottles, don't worry so much about front lighting. When you have glass, it's all about top lighting, bottom lighting, or back lighting. Okay, you want you want light shining through the glass, whether it's crystal or or liquor bottles or perfume bottles like this. And some sort of back lighting is key. Something front lit with those YouTube ring lights. It's gonna look. It's just gonna look too flat, front lit, contrasty. Have have uh, light coming in from the side top or from the back and angle your lens in, a, in an appropriate way so you don't get so much flare. And uh, sometimes zoom in a little bit too on, on telephoto um, to, uh, to get the background out. Anyway, that's my photography background, but light coming through glass and colored liquid is, is kind of pretty. So let me know what you're up to, adding lots more, buying. Some of you are on your beginning of your journeys and you're just buying every week. <laughs> that's cool watching it I remember it I remember one month gone by and you got 10 12 bo bottles right because you reason or another you had to have them or you were trading or it was a good deal on the internet I remember that but uh, for me uh, net zero nothing being added until something comes out so uh, until then much aloha and I thank everybody for tuning in, I really appreciate it, and I'll see you uh, see you on the interwebs as usual. You know where I hang out. See. You?